As promised yesterday in our meeting, hey, look for KC to get the ball, not just through the air. Coming down on those jet sweeps. So quick, so fun to watch. Reed Mitchell is in the game as an extra tight end. Right behind the left tackle. Up the middle, there goes Delbert Mims into the end zone again for the Wolfpack. An 18-yard score. His sixth touchdown rush of the season. Braden Narvison will look to tie it up. Joe Shipko, the ever reliable long snapper for the Wolfpack, puts it right to Newcaster, and we are tied. Robert and I in this offense, they needed to get the run game going. Look at those big guys banging, opening up holes for Mims. This is why I'm hot. Get set for fall with everyday style and everyday savings. I told myself I was okay with my moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis symptoms. With my psoriatic arthritis symptoms. But just okay isn't okay. And I was done settling. If you still have symptoms after a TNF blocker like Humira or Enbrel, Rinvoke is different and may help. Rinvoke is a once daily pill that can dramatically relieve RA and PSA symptoms, including fatigue for some. It can stop joint damage and in PSA can leave skin clear or almost clear. Rinvoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB, serious infections and blood clots, some fatal, cancers including lymphoma and skin cancer, death, heart attack, stroke, and tears in the stomach or intestines occurred. People 50 and older with at least one heart disease risk factor have higher risks. Don't take if allergic to Rinvoke as serious reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Done settling? Ask your rheumatologist for Rinvoke. And take back what's yours. Learn how AbbVie could help you save. Have fun, sis. Can't stop adding stuff to your cart? Get the Bank of America Customized Cash Rewards Card. Choose the online shopping category and earn 3% cash back. The new iPhone 15 Pro with titanium is here. Get it on us with Verizon's best business unlimited plans. Get the new iPhone 15 Pro on us. It's your business. It's your Verizon. With the Sonic 2 for 7 deal, you can choose from three delicious favorites for only 7 bucks. A Sonic cheeseburger, chicken sandwich, or a foot-long chili cheese coney. It might be the greatest pairing since cherry and lining. Sonic 2 for 7 deal. ACC football on the CW is brought to you by Verizon. My plan, the plan for fans. Great to see a bunch of NC State legends back here at Carter Finley Stadium. 50 years after they went 6 and 0 in the ACC, 9 and 3 overall. Behind Coach Lou Holtz, who turned out to have a pretty good career in college football, I'd say. <laughs> and TV as well. Jaden Harrison, no fair catch this time from his five yard line out to the 40 where Colin Smith gives him a little shove across the sideline. Good field position for the thundering herd. Meanwhile, coming up Tuesday on Inside the NFL, the guys will look back at the heavyweight battle coming up tomorrow night between the Cowboys and the 49ers. Plus, can the Eagles stay undefeated against the surprising L.A. Rams inside the NFL? Now for everyone, Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 o'clock Central, only on The CW. Thirty-six yard return 
for Jaden Harrison sets up Cam Fancher and the Marshall offense at the 42 yard line. Fancher's just six for 12. He's run for a touchdown. Rashid Ali. Down. Lost the ball late. But Second down. Down by contact. See the, the big first lick it's by Wilson. Those shadows, which helped NC State earlier. You can't see it right there. So say it was down after a gain of four. And a second down and six now for the herd after that nice kick return, as you mentioned, to start things off. Play clock at five. Andrew takes the get to Alley. Pressure coming. Fancher got away from one, then lost the football, and one of his offensive linemen saved him a turnover. The center, Logan Osborne, began and ended the play with a football. Well, his day might have been ended there for a second. Had he not felt it at the last second and stepped up, I think after that initial Toro making the guy miss, the big bull rush miss, I think then you got to tuck it away and just count your losses. Lucky they get that one back. Good hustle, not just phase one, but the second wave of rushers getting in there. Cleveland has had a big day as well. Marshall, as you see, just one for five on third downs. They need nine. Caleb Coombs lost the football. Peyton Wilson's got it. Trying to make men miss. Wilson creates the first turnover of the day for NC State. Believe it was popped free by Big David Van. It's a decent play. Nice patience to follow that block by Coombs on the receiver screen. But there's Van turning and burning, making the play. And then a dangerous guy when he gets his the ball in his hands, Wilson. It, did you see him at the end of that run? Once he realized that, it, that his run was done, he wasn't going to make it all the way to the end zone. He delivered some pain. He delivered some pain on, on the, the tackler. He showed like a little Deion Sanders elusiveness. Oh, Making yeah. some moves well, there after the football. Well, what, what was it? The 20, uh, 3.7 miles per hour. They clocked him on the GPS. Yeah, that might have been embellished, but it's still impressive. Oh, I don't think it was. Don't you, hey, don't you speak bad on Wilson. MJ looking deep. He's got Trent Penix, and NC State takes the lead. football nice little move by Penix they get back inside and a great job putting it right there for him by MJ Morris that'll get a little bit of spark back here in Carter Finley Stadium a little bit of excitement that they've been looking for especially from that offensive side Narvison makes it 21 14 that's now six straight completions for MJ Morris. He had thrown his previous five incomplete. First touchdown of the year for Trent Penix. In front of you are 21 men. They all look like ass boys, but you know, we'll find out. You don't even know me. I'm gonna play dirty. I don't know what to believe. Um, come here as a nice guy or an ass boy. What? Oh my god. F Boy Island, all new season Monday, October 16th on the CW. I am in love with mix tiles. You just pull the adhesive off the back, stick it to any surface, and there's no damage to your walls. Go to mixtiles.com and pick sizing, filters, and it really makes it fit the decor of your home. Order now and get up to 50% off. Take a pea sized amount, apply it like a lotion. Pits, under boob, thigh folds, butt cracks, feet. This water-based cream, I'm telling you, it's invisible on the skin. It works like a dream. Why didn't someone think of this sooner? That's 78.29. Oh, I've only got 50 bucks. 
Uh, take out the cheese puffs and the broccoli. I mean, who likes broccoli? Head out. Only $22.87 to go. It would be faster with the Empower app. Empower Cash Advance gives you up to $250 instantly. No late fees, interest, or credit checks. I've got money. Keep the cheese puffs, but uh, leave out the broccoli. <laughs> Get Empower Cash Advance up to $250 instantly. Download the Empower app today. I think I knew it was time to start looking into treatments when I was looking around. My friends just looking terrific. Once I found Nerex, I just found it really easy. I did it in my pajamas. Hello, I'm Chris Berman. If your car is out of warranty or close to expiring, you could get stuck paying thousands, but when you have Car Shield, you'll never pay for expensive car repairs again. And that's why I'm a Car Shield. Customer. Call 800 993 6324. Coming up at the half on our Subaru halftime report, we'll hear from Dave Doran. We'll also go around the ACC. Boston College and Virginia already victorious today in this conference. The game's beginning in this 3 o'clock hour. One over at Chapel Hill, another down in Tallahassee. Very short kickoff. And it's fair caught. And NC State looking for something of an onside kick. Sets up Marshall in great field position. Let's go back to the touchdown. Trent Penix from MJ Morris. Yeah, you're going to see Penix here lined up in that wing spot. And, and defensively, MJ Morris, they're going to sell it a little bit like they're setting up a screen. Gives a little pump out there, and at the same time, it's Penix with a little outside jab of the foot, comes back inside on the route, running it on A.G. McGee, the sophomore from Chipley, Florida, over in the Florida panhandle. And Trent Penix, welcome back, buddy. Big touchdown. Yeah, it's his ninth career touchdown catch, but his first in a while. Dave Doran has wanted to get the tight ends more involved. We talked to Robert and I about it yesterday. And so far, so good. Rasheed Ali. Went down after a quick five-yard spurt. Like a turf monster got him there. There is a flag down there. Looks like it came out late. This is a good, this is a good play call against this defense because what that jet, the fake to the jet sweep, Personal foul, but, but it just it gets it gets guys like Peyton Wilson in the middle of that field. It gets them reacting to that. Personal foul, illegal blindside block, number five on the offense. It's a 15-yard penalty. So first down. That's Caleb that McMillan. Let's see if uh, we can find it. And what it is is, is McMillan being being a receiver. Wide receiver. Top of your screen right there, it's Caleb McMillan. And outside the tackle box, well, you, you can't, of course, blindside, you, you can't block low. There he stayed up high, but they're saying blindside. It looked like Devin Boykin was coming straight at him. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Maybe it's just a tough 15-yard cost there. And they're going further back, and the football is out. Flanagan rules him down. Otherwise, that would have been a touchdown for NC State's D. Davin Van creating havoc in the backfield again. Van's having a good first half here. Captain on this defensive line. Just going. There were so many great defensive linemen to come through here. And, you know, one thing that you haven't really seen in this game is Coach Huff's team, you know, having back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back negative plays, bad plays, or penalties. And they seem to bounce right back. Right now, they're in a big old rut, second down and 30. Yeah, it would have been second and five if not for the penalty. Now second and 30, and it's Montgomery who takes it back out across the 30, picks up eight. Still a long way to go. And a third and a mile coming up here for Marshall. We talked earlier, this is a team that is comfortable playing from behind. They have done it every week so far this season. Fancher escapes to his left, fakes it. Wilson forces him to throw it away. 
We knew that Tony Gibson had planned to have Peyton Wilson spot on that quarterback, and he's doing a nice job. Yeah, I mean, how lucky can you be as a defensive coordinator to have a guy like that that can close like that? I mean, here's a guy that's, he's a state champion, tracks for Yes, triple jump, but it's the triple jump. You talk about an athlete, a guy that can burn a lot of these defenses. But when you're looking at a linebacker that can sit back there and, and play against the pass, and then, oh, by the way, if he tucks it and tries to run, I'm going to go run him down. I'm going to turn on my jets and run faster. I'll guarantee you faster than any linebacker in the nation and probably faster than, than most defensive backs. It's crazy speed. Peyton Wilson was a state champ, too. He's a state wrestling champ. Yeah. He also played lacrosse. He tried to play baseball, but unlike his brother, he said I was, he was a little too hyper for baseball, so he got a lacrosse stick, and that was more his style. Jalen Coyt with some space sets up NC State at the 35. 7.52 to play in the first half. Both packed by seven with the ball. This Sunday, watch The Chosen at 8, 7 central. Olive Garden's never-ending pasta bowl is back. Which means the never-ending pasta you crave is back. Enjoying them with homemade sauces and topping them off again and again, that's back too. Going back for seconds, even thirds, back and back. Starting it all off with our never-ending first course. Well, that's always been here. Never-ending pasta bowl. It's back. Starting at $13.99. Olive Garden. When you're here, you're family. We're lucky to have this team working for us. Our therapists give their all each day by helping those who need it most. We take great pride, not just in the job our team does, but in them as people, our people. And while we're in the business of taking care of others, it's important our therapists know that with benefits from principal, they're taken care of too. The new iPhone 15 Pro is here. Built with titanium and featuring the most powerful iPhone camera yet. Get it with Boost Infinite and transcend to a wireless utopia. The new titanium iPhone 15 Pro on us, no trade-in needed. Enjoy unlimited wireless in the latest iPhone every year for $60 a month. In Arby's opinion, the cheese steak is perfect. And you don't mess with the perfection. Arby's does. Arby's, we have the meat. He hits his mark center stage and is crushed by a baby grand piano. You're replacing me? Customize and save with Liberty Biberty. He doesn't even have a mustache. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. We take you back to August 24th, 1968, exhibition game here in Raleigh at Carter Stadium. The Bears and the Redskins, linebacker Dick Butkus played in that game, and obviously we bring this up in the wake of his sad passing at the age of 80 this past Thursday. A, a giant in the game of football, a legend in and out of the game, one of the toughest guys to ever take the field. The standard that all other linebackers will forever be measured Dick Butkus, may he rest in peace. James Bates, as a longtime linebacker with an appreciation for the craft, oh. what, what what stands out most to you about Dick Butkus? You know, just just the intensity that he played with, and, and it was is similar intensity but a different style. He was just such a bruiser and so brutal to some of those offensive players. And, uh, you know, I was a little bit on the young side to, to truly watch growing up and appreciate uh, my guy that, that I admired growing up and I, you know, wanted to be just like Brian Bosworth. Won, won the Buckets Award a couple of times and, you know, had a really nice tribute uh, I saw on Twitter earlier today to just a, just a great, just a hero. There have been uh, quite a few talented linebackers in that city through the years. Chicago and Pittsburgh, you think of defense and you think of linebackers. Uh, I, mean, I don't know if there's anybody that's a better candidate for the Buckus Award uh, for NC State right here this year. He's got my vote. And he was named the Buckus Player of the Month for September. 
As the pass complete to Terrell Timmons on the perimeter, it will be third and five. MJ with two receivers on each side of the formation. And he missed Concepcion. He felt that pressure coming here. Concepcion running free. He looked for him a couple times on big third down conversions throughout this game. And, and that time, I feel like even though he knew he was going to take a shot, he might have rushed it even a little bit because there was plenty of room for Concepcion. Good, good late pressure by Marshall to force what should be a punt right here. But you got to be careful in these situations. Middle of the field, you got to play it punt safe. Third punt for Newcaster. Punts of 38 yards and 16 yards. Talik Keaton back deep this time, and he makes the fair catch after a 35-yard punt, which sets up Marshall. And they'll have an opportunity to tie it late in the half. Six and a half to play here in the second quarter. Some people just know there's a podcast about that. Those are the people who know to choose Allstate. Big tea drinker? Yeah. There's a podcast about tea. He knows, yeah. and he wants you to know, too. I, I was listening to a podcast on if dogs know their dogs. There's a podcast about that? Just like he'd want you to know about Allstate. There's a podcast about fly fishing called Why Is That Person Doing That? It's called t -rific. Are you listening to a podcast? Yeah, it's about multitasking. Some people just know there's a podcast about that. Those are the people who know you're in good hands with Allstate. Time to spare? Maybe someday. Tonight, Panera. Solving crunch time and dinner with one easy swipe. That's big. Freshly prepared with clean ingredients. Panera. Your paint is really bad. What? I said best coffee I've ever had. Should've used Bear. Sorry, side where? No, I said should've used Bear. Today, let's paint. Right now, get America's most trusted paint brand at a new low price. Bear, only at the Home Depot. Have fun, sis. Can't stop adding stuff to your cart? Get the Bank of America Customized Cash Rewards Card. Choose the online shopping category and earn 3% cash back. Meet Noodles. She's part short hair. And part ninja. Meet the Bissell Crosswave Hydro Steam. It's part vacuum, mop, steamer, and ninja nemesis. Bissell, a new breed of clean. Here you go. <laughs> well, that's us. Keebler Fudge Stripes. Magic is here. In Arby's opinion, the cheese steak is perfect. And you don't mess with perfection. Arby's does. Arby's, we have the meat. A degree from Marshall University isn't simply a career path. It's a trust. It's an opportunity to inhabit the moments that change lives, to make the connections that make the difference. With the options of a larger school and the intimate nature of a smaller one, you'll find your people, your passion, and yourself while you experience the moments that shape the rest of your life. In person, online, or a mixture of both. Join us today and start to change lives, most notably your own, tomorrow. Your moment awaits at Marshall. ACC football on the CW is brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings. Let's go sports bar. Oh, the, the dude with the blue bags is doing all right. Red, I don't know about the red guy. 21-14. Hey, they did throw a late flag, and here's another look at it. NC State fans didn't love it. Remember, there used to be that two-yard halo rule. That's gone away. Now it's just one yard directly in front of the return man that you have to give them. It's off to the side a little bit right there. They threw a flag nonetheless. Instead of the 25, they start at the 40, and a deep ball looking long. McMillan can't get there. Second down. Had a step or two on eight white. And there's the one knock. There's the one knock on Fancher. He's, he's, he's not perfect on those deep balls. Not many are, but he's been so good underneath. And here, there were a few steps, and that's one that he'd love to have back. you got to take advantage of those. 
group of five team coming in, even with your undefeated record, even feeling pretty good and expecting to win games, you're on the road in a sold-out place, ACC football, NC State. You've got to take advantage of those. On second down, it's Ali. Devin Boykin with a nice tackle, set up third down. Good to see number 12 back in there. Remember, he left the game. Second play of the game, I believe, and he's been banged up. Here's a third down and short now at midfield. Marshall to the line very quickly. Fancher fakes the give. And he gets around the edge, beating Benny to the spot to move the chains for the thundering herd. You know, and nothing against Betty. I mean, Betty's a heck of a linebacker, junior out of St. Thomas Aquinas down in Fort Lauderdale. But it's it's the difference that we see in that play and in the play earlier when Peyton Wilson could just cut that angle off and go make that play before he turns that corner. Ali spun out of a Peyton Wilson tackle, but Caden Fordham was right there to help him out. We saw another great linebacker for the Wolfpack, Drake Thomas, firing up the crowd here pregame today. Yeah. They, doing the, uh, they, they call him the Alpha Wolf. He does the Wolf on one side, pack on the other side, Chan. Got him going. Second down. Fancher flips it, and a diving catch made by Mason Pierce. The five foot six jitterbug transfer from McNeese State. Oh my goodness, and, and here's another open guy down the field, and a little bit too strong, but not too strong for Pierce. I think that would have been a little bit long for even a six foot three guy. What a great job by Pierce. They're pretty fired up about number three, and they should be. He's got him down there knocking on the door of the red zone. With 4.30 left in the half. 14 yards to Pierce. Fancher keeps it again. Picks up just three that time. Van and Boykin combined for the stop. We close in on four minutes to play in what has been a lengthy and storyline filled first half. This could be a fun second half as well. Sixth ever meeting between these two programs. NC State's 5-0 against Marshall, but there have been some great games through the years. Rashid Ali met by Van and Wilson. Third down coming here from the 20. Uh, one thing that easy to do is get caught up in those offensive linemen to stay back there and react. When that back makes his cut, don't get tangled up with those offensive linemen if you don't have to. He's got some good guys in front of him. They're at that nose guard spot that really do a good job of eating them off. Here comes a third down now. Fancher is hammered by Peyton Wilson. In a game of I spy, do not bet against number 11. You know, Tony Gibson says in 29 years of coaching, I, I've never seen anyone play that hard. They've got the blitz dialed up. And you know, from now on, we come back here, we just need to bring a, a parrot. And the parrot can just set it on our shoulder, give it its own little headset, and he can just say, ah, oh, Peyton Wilson, ah, oh, Peyton Wilson, it's time after time out. You gotta expect it. I think it'd be a great investment. From 43, Veerhoff puts it through. It's his long of the season, and Charles Huff happy to get points out of that drive. Think about it. The penalty, 15 yards on the fair catch interference, puts him in field goal range. Otherwise, that's a punt. Yeah. Absolutely. And they've had some pretty good field positions. Both of these teams throughout the day to start their offensive drives. Two timeouts left, 234. Plenty of time for NC State. You know, here's one thing, too. How many reps? With, you've got your, your quarterback who has been the backup quarterback throughout the season. So those two-minute offense reps 
throughout this year, here the first few weeks of the season. Have gone to Brennan Armstrong for the most part. Get a chance to see MJ Morris on a two and a half minute offense to end this half with the two timeouts left. One thing they haven't shown a lot with Morris is, is, is any sort of tempo really quick back over the ball. Two minutes, 34 seconds here for MJ Morris, who's eight for 15, had the two first quarter interceptions, but he's also now thrown two touchdowns. One to Concepcion, one to Penix. And as they huddle up to send him off here, so important to remind him and to remind the whole offense, hey, we don't, we don't have to, we, we want to go down and score, but don't do anything foolish and risk that football. NC State, remember, will get the football to start the second half. Just take care of that football. Don't give Marshall some easy points here through a turnover. Mims met immediately by Kerry on Martin. Physical safety. The junior out of Charleston, West Virginia's Capital High School. I got one thing written down here, very physical on, on my notes next to 22. He just, he stands out. He, he does a great job of filling the gap when he reads runs, stepping up and making the plays. Right back to Mims on second and nine, and he makes it third and eight. Eli Neal gets the tackle this time. He's the leading tackler for the herd through their first four games. And a timeout taken here by Charles Huff. Trying to think about maybe getting the ball back. Absolutely. Well, you know, you, at the very least, you're gonna, you're gonna want to make these guys punt that ball away. We're seeing it's been a little bit of an adventure. We I mean, Tester already. And Charles Huff told us he wanted to see his team play clean. He wants to learn how good they can be. Well, and the other thing, he said, hey, I want them to play clean, and I want them to play, to, to open, start this game fast, start this game with, with some success. He got that wish, and, and I found it very interesting. He said, last year when we went to Notre Dame, it was a completely different approach. Last year it was, let's get them to the fourth quarter. We get them to the fourth quarter, and we can win. He said, these guys aren't like that. And, you know, it's kind of a head scratcher because you hear coaches say that so much. And what he's saying is, these guys are too explosive. We don't we don't want them around. We want to have that lead with these guys going into the fourth quarter. Because as the game goes on, they've got so many playmakers that can turn it around. There's a big third down. See if Marshall can get off the field defensively. MJ is going to keep it himself. And he's not getting anywhere close to the 35. He didn't even get to the 30. Another good tackle for Owen Porter. The veteran defensive end in his 50th career college football game today. Hometown kid played at Spring Valley High School just seven miles away from the Marshall campus. Another timeout taken by Charles Huff. In his third year, was the running backs coach at Alabama before he got hired at Marshall. He's 40 years old. And he, he just has the feel of a guy who could rise in this industry. I mean, Marshall's going to want to keep this guy. He's 20 and 10. I mean, he's won two thirds of his games after inheriting the program from Doc Holliday. You know, during the pandemic, they were wearing masks at his opening press conference. You mentioned leaving Tuscaloosa to head up there to Huntington and took over for Doc Holliday. And, you know, one thing that he did have the luxury. It wasn't a program that is a losing football team. It yes. was a winning record before he took over. So it's you know so tough for some of these coaches to go in and try to convince a team to expect to win when they haven't won in years. But he's going from a place where they didn't lose very many games in Tuscaloosa. And they certainly haven't lost very many there as the head coach in, in Huntington. Decent punt for Newcaster. Fair caught at the 33 by Keaton. 149 to play in the second half, in hey, the first half. Excuse hey, me. Mr. Wilson. Aiden Wilson. Man, he's been healthy this year, and offenses haven't liked it very much. That play right there that we just saw, he won't get any kind of a stat for it, but that's that's maybe a game favor when it's all said and done. Rushing, that would be a, a uh, halfback pass. Here he is on the fumble recovery. Ball pops right into his lap. 
and just so active, going sideline to sideline, blitzing. He can do it all. So much fun to watch. And it really has been a treat anytime we come to Raleigh or see the Wolfpack on the road. There you see the numbers for the first half, the eight tackles. Are you a fan of the belly button jersey? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, if, if you can do it, if you can pull it off, you, you know, I, 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 I never had, I never had that, that midsection where it would look good on me. The guy who wore 44 before me at Florida, he used to go really high. Fee Bartley was a big time player for the game. All right. Two minute drill here, perhaps for Marshall. Rashid Ali makes the catch, brought down by Devin Boykin after a gain of five. Back to that other side. One timeout remaining here now for Marshall to go empty. Hancher has time and completes it into NC State territory. It's Caleb McMillan. Marshall in no particular hurry right here. Box stopped on the first down, final two minutes. Officials slowing him down here. They're trying to trying to allow NC State to make a substitution. There's confusion right now for the Wolfpack, and well, NC State's allowing or uh, you know, taking some time away. Well, when Marshall substitutes, they have to allow NC State to substitute as well. They get it off, and here we go. To the outside for Chuck Montgomery. Some pretty good, quick zip balls from. Cam Fancher to begin this drive. Three straight completions. Under a minute now, and second and five from the NC State 41. New defensive line coming into the game for Tony Gibson. Five wide receivers. Fancher gets it back to the line of scrimmage. Flag deep in the secondary here. And it might be a hold. Holding defense over 19. It's a 10 yard penalty. Carries an automatic first down. Fifth accepted penalty against NC State in this first half. Yeah, that's a tough one right there. They're going to force Marshall to use a timeout probably in that situation. And instead, set a third and five where they use a the timeout. First and ten, <laughs> keep the timeout. Big swing. Big, big swing. Tony Gibson knows it over there. We've got Fitzgerald who's had to work his way in there. Sean Brown, who still isn't in this game in the first half, will be back in the second half serving that suspension for targeting. And Jakeen Harris, he's been out the whole season since way back in the opening Newcomb. Hampshire hits his man on the slant. Down inside the five-yard line goes to Marcus Harris. Marshall hurries to the line of scrimmage. There's no rush, though. 40 seconds to go. And I think we're getting a timeout from the NC State sideline. Yep. 28-yard catch and run to Harris. His longest reception of the year by far. And he's just he's just set to run free. Again, there have been a couple times it seems miscommunication. Yeah, there was a slip by Fitzgerald, but that's after the fact trying to go make that tackle. Lucky that Harris wasn't able to get into the end zone. And probably a pretty good timeout right there taken by NC State. Is hey, we're, we're not worried right now about saving these timeouts to try to, get, try to get some points of our own. We're worried about keeping these guys out of the end zone. I'm glad you mentioned Sean Brown, though, because the coaches say he's been playing as well as anybody on the defense, yeah. and that's a, a high state standard when you talk about what Peyton Wilson's been doing. Well, and, you know, and I mean, it says a lot about Sean Brown, just a sophomore who was you know, expected with all the depth they had at secondary before guys like Harris got hurt. You know, play a lot of special teams, nice backup ball. He was forced in as a starter. Look at him, the start he had against Louisville, eight tackles, two sacks, forced fumble before being ejected. So they'll welcome him back. Get him loose at halftime. He'll be able to play the second half. But first, his buddy's trying to keep this thundering hurt offense out of the end zone with 38 ticks remaining on the clock. Pancher four for four on this drive. Pancher spied by Wilson. Pancher 
Tripped up as he dives for the pylon, and he's down inside the one. Wow, he almost got that corner turn. Something you don't see very often is somebody beating Peyton Wilson to the edge. Wilson just enough to trip him up. And this one, this one I think is gonna come back if he doesn't hit the ground. The ball touches the pylon. So that should be a touchdown. If he was still in bounds when it did. They're going to take Even a look the field, at it. The run was out of bounds and short of the goal line. That play is under further review. Did his entire body stay above the ground? Did his hand not touch? That's Fordham that's over there. His hand touched in bounds, Batesy. I think that's a touchdown. And what an effort. By both guys. Yeah, that, that's an epic touchdown for the Thundering Herd. And I, that, that was Fordham, I beg your pardon. That wasn't Peyton Wilson over there. Wow. Excellent effort by a, a guy in Cam Fancher. I mentioned the state champion triple jumper. And that's that's a guy who didn't focus on it really at all. He just he just did it, they say, because the, the track coach kept begging him. He said, all right, well, let me let me shut him up a little bit. After further review, the runner was not out of bounds, extended the ball to the goal line, it results in a touchdown. Wow, look at Charles Huff. He's fired up. Yeah, he is. Yeah, that was that was a pretty easy call to go back and look at it. It didn't take a long time. You see it, and just the effort to stretch it out there and touch that pylon, that's all you need for Fancher. No body part hitting the ground, and, and you know, and you know, and that is, you think about it, when the triple jumper, and to do a triple jumper without kind of like dedicating your life to it and win a state championship, what does it take? It takes, it takes precision, it takes discipline and body control. That's pretty good body control right there to get it in the end zone and give the thundering herd the lead one more time. Well, this was a triple jump while being tackled by Peyton Wilson. Charles Huff, upon learning that this was going to be a touchdown, let's go. <laughs> There's Fancher. A little bit, they, they say he's, he's pretty quiet. There, you know, there were... Uh, a lot of stories out there that, that didn't come out until the last couple of weeks. People starting to ask him and having to like, like pulling teeth to get him to talk. Uh, it's a little bit different than Coach Huff's reaction. The other thing about that play, it worked out for Fancher, but he's reaching the ball with one hand. If he loses it at the half yard line and it hits the pylon, it's a touchback. Right, touchback. For Here's Gray now. Don't sleep on Greg because even with 31 seconds left in the half and one time out remaining, Greg can put you in a situation where that doesn't matter. Just ask Virginia. And Marshall knows it because we've seen him kick off. We've seen him with the sky kick in this game already. Here they'll kick to him. Returnable if he wants to from the four. And Gray takes it to the 25. 26 seconds left. I don't know what we're going to see on this possession, James, but it's the 19th possession of the half. This is the 10th possession for NC State in this first half. There's Marco. Well, I, Evan, I mean, here's what I think you, you need to say is you just need to be careful with this football. Yeah, you're down three at halftime, but you're going to get the ball to start the second half. You had two turnovers early, and you really kind of weathered that storm. Just be careful with that rock. Oh, my. Off the fingertips of Jacoby Henderson, intended for Concepcion. That was not being careful, James. No. It, well, it, 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 it doesn't seem like it's that difficult and risky of a throw, but when it's thrown behind him, absolutely. I would be surprised if this is not a handoff to Delbert Mims on second down. Well, and I also wouldn't be surprised if NC State doesn't come out in the second half and just wow. try to commit to pounding the football. Going to throw it again. MJ looking for Concepcion again. There was some contact. He made the catch out of bounds. 
you know, and, and on the other side of that coin too, Evan, hey, there's something to be said about your young quarterback and your team going back into that locker room and being like, all right, coaches have faith. We have faith in our guy. There's time on the clock. We're going to try to go score. We're going to try to march it down the field and, and make a couple big plays. Let's take some shots rather than taking a knee and kind of whimpering with the pack into that halftime locker room. Let's go in there with a little bit of feel good. If they don't get 10 yards here, we're going to see Newcaster again because Marshall does have another timeout. Mims. You can use it right now. They do. You're absolutely right. Four-yard run. There, there are a lot of things that can happen. Mm -hmm. You've got to get that long snapper in there. Not everybody has a Joe Shimko like they do here in Raleigh. One of the best in the game in 50, college football. 55 games for Joe Shimko. About 530 snaps. He never had a bad one. I'm worried about saying that and then jinxing him. Like, you worry about that as a play-by-play -play announcer because you don't want to be the guy that's blamed for the error. So I'm pulling for Joe right here. Well, if Annabelle's going to put it in her notes, then I don't think she's worried about the, the jinx. The sports information director here at NC State that always impervious to the voodoo. Job. Yes. But, you know, so you've got you got to snap it. you got to punt it. We've seen some... We saw a pretty bad shank earlier yes, from did. Kester, so do you come after it and try to block it? What have they seen on tape? Talik Keaton standing back at his own 32 for Marshall. Looks like Thunder and Herd are going to bring some pressure. Oh, back out of it. Best punt of the day for Newcaster. Fair catch made at 25 with two seconds left in the second quarter. Just halfway home, too. No? Nice day, beautiful day. Wow, we got a, a good second half coming up here in Raleigh after these two ticks go off the clock. Picture the perfect first. day for fall football. Charles Huff brings his undefeated Marshall Thundering Herd into the triangle to face this Wolfpack team that has high expectations, as always, coming off a frustrating loss last Friday against Louisville. Dave Doran makes a change at the quarterback position, weathers the early turnover storm, as you mentioned, but it's Marshall on top. Let's go down to the field with Tabitha. Coach, wild first half, back and forth. What was the strategy to allow you